ladies and gentlemen, totally enjoyed this show. Now, everyone has a different opinion on what they think of people and different people and how they view people based on how they've been treated and how they view people based on what their experiences are, right? So you really have to just set that aside, darling, to not worry about it, right? Like, I, I, I'm a, uh, basically, I'm a cis male, basically, CIS, um, and I am a cis trans as well when I dress up as Molina. Now, I'm, I don't consider myself trans. I don't identify with being trans, but I'm cis, right? So people might have their impressions about cis males or people that are good-looking men. Um, and, and I'm bi, so people might have their impressions about bi men and stuff like that that are cis, right? So it's very much um, something that I can't control, right? Like I know people that just don't like good-looking people. They really can't stand them. And it's understandable. Maybe they get made fun of. I, feel, I don't make fun of good people, but some people make fun of... The, some people that are good-looking make fun of people all the time and have a really kind of negative attitude towards a certain look or a certain behavior or a certain kind of personality trait so they make fun right and i know people that make fun of people that are i'm not saying if you are cis that you 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 um, have to do what uh, you know being being a nice person is important but uh, there are people that don't want to be nice and i'm not going to i'm not going to dictate what you do or how you should behave or or people, people that are not cis i'm not going to say what you should do really but um so it's understandable that if you get mistreated by cis people or you, you've had a hard time, or maybe your sibling is cis and you don't really get treated well, you know, it makes, it makes sense that you would be upset. It makes sense that you would have a hard time. So, you know, I totally get that. Not everyone's going to be happy with cis males or cis females or cis trans even because they have a certain persona, they have a certain kind of behavior that maybe um, people are not liking. I know people that, I'm, I'm a nice person, I've been nice, to, I'm always nice to everyone. You know, there are times where maybe I've made some comments or said certain things, but I'm usually alone, and I usually don't think anyone's really listening, it's just my judgment call, but I don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to clear that, because I know people might not like that, but I don't really do that on purpose, and I don't, when I'm actually talking to a person, I'm very nice, and never say anything mean. And I've been nice to certain people all my life. There's people that are, you know, people that I know that I've been really nice to all my life, but they can't, they, they just never grew up looking as good as I did. So they never had, and, and that's a privilege I have. I'm very lucky to look this good. So I have a privilege to be gorgeous. That's my privilege. I'm very blessed to have that. And not everyone has that. So they can't relate. Some people really don't know how to act around people that are cis because they get made fun of by cis people all the time. So I totally get that. I totally understand that that happens and that people don't like it. Now, I believe there are a lot of cis people that don't judge. I know a lot of cis people that work with handicapped people, that volunteer at hospitals, that that are non-judgmental, that are very friendly, that are always very nice. You know, I know a lot of people like that. I've actually met a lot of people that are working with disabled people and like people that are handicapped or mentally handicapped. A lot of them work with the mentally disabled or respite workers and they're very good looking. So, you know, they don't, they obviously, you know, they're very nice people. No one's going to think they're judgmental, but even those people, when they date, maybe they are judgmental, right? But, you know, for me, I date people that are cis as well. Like I only date gorgeous men and gorgeous women. I only date cis people, um, I, I mean in the past I used to date whatever, but now I date only cis people, so people are, might have an opinion about that, but really, you know, I'm very friendly, I try to make sure people know that I'm, I'm, I'm a nice person, that I'm really a, a giving person, I'm very friendly, and even though I only date cis people, I, I want people to know that I'm supportive of all types of people, because, you know, it, it's kind of like a, a way to a way to describe it is just that I believe everyone should have freedom. Everyone should be free, because people that are free usually become better looking people. People that are uh, that are never worrying about judgments usually usually are relaxed and can accomplish more. People that are free never worry about their weight, so they lose weight. You know what I mean? Like 
that's why I'm always about people. I'm always supportive of people because I believe that if you give people love and, and affection by being nice on YouTube and TikTok and telling people to support all human rights and be really supportive of all human rights, then people grow and can take their lives further. Then if they're uh, stuck in a place where they're told they can't be, they can't do, that's why I'm supportive of the outcast. Because you never know what outcast is going to be physically beautiful or physically attractive later on, right? I've seen, like even like Jojo Siwa, I mean she was probably 16 or 17 when she was younger, but she looks so much better now. I mean she's still young, 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 I would never date her because she's too young for me, but, but and she's a lesbian anyway, but, uh, but you know, she's, she's very pretty now and people like she, like I thought, I thought, oh, she looks silly, whatever, but she was just super young, that's why she looked that way, right? And probably both her parents are gorgeous and that's why she looks so good. So, you know, maybe people were like, oh, she's this, she's that. And they were too hard on her, but like, she's gorgeous now, right? But, and then there are people that might think, no, she was better looking before. I mean, she was childish and cute. And that's what I prefer, right? Uh, someone younger. So, or not younger necessarily, but just someone more cutesy. Whether you're older or not. I mean, she was young, obviously. But whether you're older or not, we will prefer the cutesy look. That, that young look, you know, so the, like the baby look. Uh, so you know, it just depends on what people prefer and what people think is beautiful. Now, universal beauty is a certain kind of is a certain kind of standard, and it's kind of like typical. Like it's always the same. It's always the same. So it's not like it's it's not like you can really avoid knowing what real like what real beauty real beauty whatever real beauty means exactly. But what typical standard of beauty? It's going to be the same no matter what because we all know beauty to be, you know, Britney Spears, Madonna, Katy Perry, and all those people do very well. They're very successful, but there are a lot of people that are not conventionally attractive that do very, very well. So, you know, obviously there are a lot of people in the world that are not physically fit, that are, that are obese even, that are not physically attractive to the masses. I mean, and maybe a cis person will like them if they like that kind of person or whatever, but they're just not as commonly known as beautiful. Um, so, you know, we have those people that, that break the, break the mold and do well, despite not being conventionally attractive. I mean, there's gotta be obviously with all the people in the world that are not physically as attractive as the most attractive person, which are only the 1% of top looking, best looking people then you're going to get people that are going to be popular in all walks of life, maybe not as commonly, but there are going to be a lot of people that are famous for things other than their looks. Makes sense, right? Now, I'm a cis male. As a woman, when I dress up in drag, I'm a cis female, oh, I guess a cis trans person. So, you know, I, I have a certain kind of standard of beauty in mind and in my look when I perform what, what I look like. And so people might have a negative connotation with that, but that's on them, right? Like not everyone that's good looking feels negative about less attractive people. Like, I mean, if I'm going to be in, in a room with people and someone that's overweight will talk to me, I'm, I mean, I might be busy and not say anything, but I mean, I'm not going to be rude and insult them. I'm never going to be rude and insult them. I'm never going to be like, you can't do this. You can't do that. I'm going to be encouraging and there's a lot of people that are overweight that I love talking to, you know, people that are really, really nice and people that know I'm not a snob and so they're like, they're like really happy with me, you know, so, and then I, I think beauty, some people are really beautiful that are overweight, you know, if they were thin, they'd be drop dead gorgeous, but they're beautiful nonetheless. So, you know, being a cis person, I have that advantage of being very good looking and, and being lucky that way. And some people really don't like that. I can be whatever way I want, and no matter what way I am, even if I'm like the, the most non-judgmental and the most inclusive and the most friendly to everyone, some people just won't like me. And that's okay, you know? I totally get that. If you've been made fun of by too many such people in the past, then I totally get that. You have a hard time. I understand it's not going to be easy for you, and you just avoid the whole thing altogether. And that makes sense, you know. People have a hard time thinking that I'm nice because I'm actually really nice. I don't judge people. Never would judge anyone, but people have a hard time believing that. 
some of they just automatically assume I'm going to be judgmental because of how I look. And I can't take that away from you. I'm not, I'm not like that, but I, can't, I can understand why you feel that way. Because maybe too many cis people made fun of you in the past. And that makes sense. You know, I really get that. I, I totally understand that maybe you have a hard time. And I can't do anything to help you with that. Maybe one day you, you'll, you'll, you'll feel like that doesn't happen and you'll change. But I can't control it. Not everyone's going to like everyone, right? But I totally, I mean, I, I mean, this one person was mentioning on TikTok that um, cis people are annoying this and that because they make fun of him on, he's, I guess he was a queer guy or a gay guy, and they make fun of him on dating sites. I personally do not make fun of it when I'm on a dating site, whether it's for men or for women. I'm never making fun of anyone. I'm never cursing anyone. I never call anyone overweight. I never call anyone. If I'm not interested in someone, I just don't pursue it. I just stop chatting. I might, if they ask me out or ask to meet, I say I'm flattered, but I'm not interested. I do the polite thing. I never do anything rude. I never, I'm never mean ever, because I know dating is sensitive. If you get someone that's like a, a gorgeous a, a s s h o l e, you're gonna feel really tainted by dating. You're gonna have a hard time, which is why some people really have a hard time with dating, and people that are good looking because they feel that every good looking person is the same which is not true. Um, but yes, so I totally get that. I understand that's an issue. Um, I, like, when he said that people made fun of him on dating sites, or people make fun of people on dating sites that are good looking, I just, like, that's something I don't do, I never have. So I just never really understood that concept really. You know, it's obvious, I could totally make fun of anyone, I could do whatever, but I just feel it's just so, you know, it just seems weird to me. And I just, like, I have no time for this. Like I. I would never do that. I don't feel like that's something that would be cool, you know? I, I mean, people are, if I'm, if I'm mean in any way, people are very hard on me. So I, I totally get that. But, um, but you know, I just find that if you are mean like that, you know, I don't know, I just, I, I never was like that. So, but people might not know that about me because they just assume all cis men are the same. All cis men that dress up in drag, that look really, really good, cis trans are the same and they just assume that but it's not always true but how are you going to know the difference between someone that's cis and not like that and someone that's cis that is like that you're not going to know right anyway just this piece of uh, uh just a, uh, a thought like a set of thoughts for you to think about and be like hey you know not every good looking person is like that um but you know like I said, I know this one person there, like someone I know, I won't, I won't say who, but they've always felt that I was, like, when I knew them, I've known them for a long time, and they always felt there was arrogance, and they always felt that I was someone that was using my looks and happy about my looks, and they always felt that I was arrogance and being, being showy and all this, and I, and I was always so nice to them, and I didn't understand what they were talking about. But, I mean, I totally get that. Maybe they were made fun of by good-looking people constantly, and they had a hard time. I totally get that. Now, you know, for me, it's, it's something that I just take... I, I, I try not to take it for granted, but it's very easy to take for granted. I'm just very blessed to look this way. So I don't really know a difference. I, I've never been to anything else. But you have to really recognize that people have done a lot for... For everyone in the world, you know, there's advocates, there's people that do things for people in the world, uh, people that support homeless, people that support charities, and there's a lot of nice people that made workplaces better with unions and different things. So there's a lot of stuff that really helped me along the way, um, not necessarily one or any of those things really, but um, or all those things. But um, but you know, I I had a lot of great people in my life that were not necessarily cis and you know so I really appreciate everyone you know and I really appreciate people and I think as a cis person I have to really you know think about what I'm I'm saying and doing because I, I really make an impression and I really I really have you know people people feeling like hey you know you are very good looking what you say is very important and you can't be saying things about people that are negative or rude or where you're being like 
targeting someone or whatever. You have to really be someone that's inclusive and really someone that talks about diversity, talks about human rights, talks about protecting everyone's spirits and everyone's happiness. Because I really think that as a cis person, it means more when people like me say these things. That's why I say, you know, about about trans, every sexual orientation, every religion, every every race, everybody should be living in the world freely, comfortably, thriving, not just happy, not just, okay, this is okay, I'm dealing with this, this is going to be okay, sort of. No, you have to be thriving. Everyone in the world should be thriving. That's what I honestly feel because I really feel like as a cis person, I had every single advantage given to me, so I have no reason not to think that other people shouldn't thrive. Anyway, thank you all for watching the pre-partial or pre-Halloween partial special of Melina in this dress will be happening tonight, darlings. Tonight, your love, 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 darlings. Bye now.